Greetings adventurers, it's Syrian here with our top 10 tips for new players to Gems of War. Tip number one, you're going to need a lot of gold. Up in the top of the screen you can see some of your most important resources. You can win gold from battle and you can collect gold from your home kingdom every hour. To the left you can see glory. You'll win that by fighting other players and you can use it to acquire the new troops we release every week. To the right you can see gems. You can buy these from the shop, but you can also earn them free by doing guild tasks. Tip number two, how to collect troops. In Gems of War, you collect troops by opening chests, which come in many different flavors. You can open chests one, 10, or 50 at a time. But don't forget, if you're opening a lot, there's a fast forward button down there in the bottom right. Opening the gold chests gets you the most basic form of troops. Opening glory chests gets you something a little bit better, while opening the gem chests gets you the best troops of all. Tip number three, how to level up your troops. When you get a new troop, it's level one, but troops can go as high as level 20, so you're going to need to level them up and get them stronger. How do you level a troop? You'll need to go to the troop menu, select the troop you want to level, press the crafting button, and you'll be able to level it up using souls. And where do you get souls from? You'll get souls from killing enemies in battle, but you can also get souls by doing challenges, and from certain troops who give you souls as part of their spell. Tip number four, creating teams that don't suck. Early in the game, you're not going to have access to a lot of troops, but it's not hard to make a good team if you follow a few simple rules. First, try to cover all the six mana colors. That way you're not wasting any mana from any gem matches. Second, find a troop that does damage, preferably to multiple enemies, and then look for another troop that creates gems to power him up. Tip number five, choosing your masteries. When your hero levels up, you will always get to choose a new spell mastery, but which color should you choose? There are two ways you can go about this, and neither one is wrong. You can specialize in one or two colors and try to unlock some better weapons for your hero a little bit more quickly, or you can spread the spell masteries evenly to maximize your chances of getting extra mana in the game. Either way, by the time you're reaching level 100 to 150, you should be leveling them all out. Tip number six. What do I do with all these kingdoms? There are two important things you want to do with every kingdom that you unlock. First, complete the quest. Completing a quest chain will always give you a free, epic card. Second, you're going to want to spend some gold to level that kingdom up to level five. This will increase the amount of gold and resources that kingdom sends you every hour. And that'll just make your life a little bit easier. Tip number seven. How do you get hero classes? If you've opened the hero menu and seen the tab called classes, you might wonder how to get them. The first class you should try to get is in the Broken Spire. Once you've completed the quest line and killed the boss Shegra, Luther will offer you a quest to teach you how to be a warlord. Once you've completed that quest, you'll unlock the Warlord class. Adding a class to your hero will make him considerably more powerful. If you win enough battles with it, you'll even unlock a free mythic weapon. Tip number eight, play the Treasure Hunt minigame. Early in Gems of War, the Treasure Hunt game is a great way to get some free resources, including gems and keys. But in order to play Treasure Hunt, you're going to need some treasure maps. The best source of treasure maps is Tiri. You can unlock Tiri for free by completing the quest line in Zulkari. Casting her spell will occasionally give you a free treasure map. As for tips on how to be an awesome treasure hunter, I think that needs a video all of its own. Tip number nine, why not try joining a guild? To see what guilds are available, press the guilds button and search. Apart from just hanging out with cool people, the best thing about guilds is that you can work together with other members to get bonuses and extra resources that you couldn't get anywhere else. If you're serious about joining a good guild, the best ways to do it are to type into global chat and let everyone know you're looking, or to join the forums at gemsofwar.com and check out the guild recruitment section. Tip number 10, VIP levels. If you've browsed the shop, you'll have noticed the VIP points. 
Every time you make a purchase in Gems of War, you earn some of these VIP points, and they unlock permanent bonuses within the game. For example, at VIP level 3, you'll unlock permanent scouting of enemy troops, while at VIP level 5, you'll have access to the VIP chests, which are the best way to get epic, legendary, and mythic troops. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. But before I go, here's one final tip. Another great way to learn about Gems of War is to watch the videos created by two of our top streamers, Tacit the Terror and Cradle of the Horse. Here's some links, check them out.